Shalom, shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, Double Honor, City Apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well, peace and salutations unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Ayash Kabar from the GMS Virginia camp, coming at you with another short lesson that I pray that you find edifying. And, uh, <clears throat> we are in those times, brothers. We are in that time where fearful sights, fearful events are about to take place. We are in that time where men will be afraid. We are in that time where the death toll is going to exceed, you know, uh, you know, any terminator movie or any rambo movie you know we're in that time where yahabashim yahweh is uh you know is passing judgment unto the wicked both of the nation of israel and of the natural gentiles so we are definitely in that time where you know you have to actually gird your loins like a man you know you got to chalk it up you know you got to be able to deal with it in the spirit because your flesh is weak. Your flesh is something that can actually, if you let it, overpower your spirit. That's why Yahweh Shimei Awashai constantly warned us, you know, to stay in the spirit, you know. Look at things in a spiritual context because, you know, you have to because these days are evil. And Yahweh Shimei Awashai is about to, you know do some mass judgments in this earth. So I'm going to break out a quick scripture and go into some more, you know, uh, the book of second Timothy chapter one and verse seven for the most high has not given us the spirit of fear. The Lord has not given his elect men, the spirit of fear, but he has given us a comforter, you know, these scriptures, the Holy spirit, you know, gifts that will help us through these tribulous times. You know, faith, being circumspect, you know, the knowledge, wisdom and understanding of his word, you know. So once you have these things and once you've been granted with these gifts, these spiritual gifts, you know, our jobs has been to <clears throat> obtain these gifts, learn how to utilize these gifts in the spirit so that when, you know, these dark days come. You know, we can deal with them, you know. This is a training session, you know. We're, we're spiritual soldiers that is still going through the recruitment phase. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't out of the woods yet, you know. I mean, we're not saved until we're on them chariots, you know. So we're still going to have to go through these things. We're still going to have to go through these tribulous times. We're still going to have to go through our ailments. We're still going to have to go through our pains. We're still going to have to see the people that we so-called love die on this side. You know, so if, <clears throat> if, if all you're doing is working through the flesh, then you could be, then you could succumb to the flesh. But if you work through the spirit, then you can understand that that these things must come to pass, you know? You got those people who like to work in the flesh, you know, that don't understand what's going on. You know, they they can't comprehend, you know, the nature of the Lord, you know? Well, why does he, you know, why do the children have to die? Or why do the women have to die? <clears throat> Stuff like that. But they don't understand, you know, it's not necessarily a so-called child dying. It is that spirit within that child being judged. You know, it's all about that spirit within that child being judged through the flesh. But a lot of people don't understand that, you know, they look at things cardinally and and, you know, that's enmity with the Lord, you know, to be cardinally minded. You know, the Lord hates that, you know, he wants you to be in the spirit, you know, because he wants to redeem his elect, you know. And, but trust me, if you are the elect, you're going to be redeemed. You know, that, that, that blood has already been shed, you know, but 
Shalaki, if I misspoke on that, but the blood for the redeemed has already been shed by Yahweh Shai. You know, so reading on. But of power and of love and of a sound mind. And that's what we have to have during these times, you know, the power of knowing, you know, the scriptures say knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. Although this comes out often amongst many of the other prophets of GMS, it, it holds true. It rings true. It is a fact. Knowledge and wisdom is going to be the spirit. The knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. Because once you understand the nature of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, that's 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 you know like the ultimate cheat code you know once you understand the will of the lord you know that's like the ultimate cheat code the lord is telling you what he likes and what he don't like who he's going to save who he's not going to save you know who's going to die a horrific death and who's not all this all this information is being told to the masses but the masses ain't paying attention you know, the, you, you know, the masses ain't paying attention to the knowledge, wisdom and understanding that's being conveyed through the scriptures by the men of the Lord. You know, you know, by the mouths of his holy prophets who are out there on the highways and byways, week in, week out, teaching, preaching and warning you people. We've been commanded to do so. And you people just ain't listening. So when these tribulous times fall upon you. That spirit of fear is just going to overtake you. You know, it's going to have you doing dumb shit. You know, it's going to have you going right back to the same enemy that that has been destroying you from the very beginning. You know, this devil has been destroying you with food, with your living conditions, with with, uh, you know, all these different frequencies and, you know, with drugs and his whole mindset is to destroy Israel. And trust me, if we didn't have a higher power protecting us, if we didn't have a higher power maintaining a remnant, we would have been destroyed a long time ago. And if not a long time ago, in the future. Because Israel is done. You know, Yahweh Shem Yahushai has got to bring about the end of this man's kingdom or else there shall no flesh be saved. Because this place is just straight the fuck out wicked. Everything about it is wicked. Everything outside of the elect is wicked because, man, this place will destroy you even with a sore stroke. Words cannot comprehend what is being seen by the men of Yahweh Shem Yahushai on a daily basis. That two thirds just ain't picking up. Here it is. You know, you know, you got these troops that's being rolled in, you know, that's surrounding Jake, that's surrounding your local communities, that's creating havoc, you know, that's doing all types of things at a low level, that when all hell breaks loose, you know, these men are just going to go for broke. They're not going to have a care for you. The scriptures say that the armies will be pulled away, you know. You're not going to be able to depend on so-called American troops, you know, to defend you. Nah, you know, because you, those American troops are going to be over, you know, in a fertile crescent fighting another war. The war of Armageddon. And what are you left with on this side? You're left on this side with Gerger troops, which is being set up right before your eyes. But you're not paying attention to these things. You're not... Jake ain't paying attention to how the okie doke is being set up right. Here it is. Jake is like the ultimate uh, supplanter or supposed to be the ultimate supplanter. Yet he's being supplanted by the basis of men. So that's how you know that Jake is at a very low frequency. Jake would rather worry about, you know, basketball titles and boxing titles and gourmet channels, women, this, that, or the other, other than, you know, the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know? And so when these calamities fall upon Jake, you know, hold on a second, let me get that, you know. Um, 
Slovakia. Slovakia. I wasn't planning on getting this scripture. <clears throat> Slovakia. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, and verse 26. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. What fear is the Lord referring to? You know, and, and how is the Lord going to laugh at your calamity? Remember, the scriptures state that, that he only spoke by the mouths of his holy prophets. You know, so the prophets who are out there on the highways and byways are going to see these things. And they're going to laugh at you. We, we are literally going to laugh at you for not paying attention. We are literally going to mock when your fear comes. Because when you had the chance to get this information, to get this word, you chose not to listen. And so when fear falls upon you, because you're not going to know what to do in that day, you, you don't even know what to do today. And so when these fears fall upon you, the Lord is just, just going to put the spirit on his prophets, you know, to just laugh at you. Straight up. It's going to happen because it is written. And a lot of people, a lot of you people aren't going to understand the spirit that the prophets are going to be under when we're laughing at you. You know, and I pray that I'm one of those men, but a lot of people ain't going to understand the spirit of the prophets when they begin to laugh at you. They're not going to understand how can these men be laughing during these tribulous times. Some people will get it and some people won't or most people won't. Because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has not given his prophets, his holy elect, the spirit of fear. Nah, man. That, that, that spirit is specifically towards the wicked. Specifically towards you two-thirds of you jakes. And if you think that you're not going to be fearful in them days, you are sadly mistaken. I've been watching videos on YouTube and TikTok and here and there of 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 like ghosts just popping out of nowhere you know i've been watching videos of women just being judged men being judged people being dragged down the street shot stabbed all types of wickedness or should i say judgment But a lot of people don't understand the nature of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua to understand that these were ordained by the Lord. You know, so a lot of people ain't going to get it. Oh, Salak, yeah. Uh, let me go back. Let me go back. Uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, and verse 27. When your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When your fear comes as a desolation and as a whirlwind, man, man, you know, to not know what to do in that day, a lot of people are just going to be acting out of haste. But, but what did the scripture say? Haste not in a time of trouble. You, you know? Make no tarrying to turn into the Lord. You know, a lot of you, man, a lot of you people seem to think that you got to, I was talking to a Jake at the plantation just last night, or should I say this morning, and this Jake seems to think, think that he's got time to repent. I'm like, nah, bro, you, you, you don't have the time you think you got. You really don't have the time that you think you have. And what does the scripture say about that? Your salvation is nearer than what you believe. So if the elect believes that our salvation is nearer than what we believe, and and Adaman Ratazar, I'm one of those men, then, then two-thirds have no idea how close things are to just popping off. When your fear cometh as, as a when your fear cometh as a desolation. 
and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, when that distress cometh upon you in anguish, what are you going to do except be fearful? And that fear is going to cause a lot of people to do things that they shouldn't do. For example, the book of Second Edger state that men shall evade, invade one another, destroying their homes with the sword for the lack of bread. Which means that there's going to be a food famine in this world. And when there's a food famine in this world, what are the people going to turn to? The people are going to turn to those that actually have food. Who, who can actually control the populace with the food that he has. A lot of people are going to turn back into this wicked kingdom, which is Babylon the Great, a.k.a. spiritual Egypt and Sodom. A lot of people are going to turn back into this place for protection, for food, for, for shelter, for a sense of normalcy. Not knowing that they've been oppressed their entire lives. And this is all that they know. Through oppression, this man has created the, the nigger or the nigger. And a lot of people are going to revert back. To, a lot of you Jakes are going to revert back to that. So during your distress, you're going to do a lot of things. And when I mean a lot of things, a lot of these people are going to take the MOTB. Which is a very big deal because the because the scriptures say, do not take this mark. Because if you do, you, you, you yeah. if you take that mark, ain't no turning back. And a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of you Jakes are going to take it. Because you're not going to have any sense of direction on what to do. Because you're going to be fearful in that day. Fear is a terrible thing that make you do some stupid shit. Reading on verse 28. Then, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. When shit start popping off, just... Just sit back and watch the amount of people that's running, you know, to these churches, you know, to these harlot houses. Just watch the amount of people that's going to run to these things. And then you turn around and you watch the people that's going to look for the prophets who are out there on the highways and byways after, the, after these said churches have no answers for them. Then you watch the people turn to look for the prophets who, who have been out there on the highways and byways, teaching, preaching and warning you of these up and coming calamities. Because a lot of people are going to do this again in their fear of not knowing what to do next. Verse 29, for that they hated knowledge. Yeah, they don't, they're not going to know what to do next because when the knowledge and understand, when the knowledge, wisdom and understanding was available to them to learn, to grasp, to hear, they chose not to listen to it. They chose you know, to pull away that shoulder and just walk away and scoff and do whatever it is that they do. Why? Because they didn't believe that what's coming is happening. And when they see it start to happen and 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 trust me, the people are starting to see it now. You got some people who, who are actually starting to wake up, you know, to see, hey, hey, hold on one second. What they said was is happening. Not knowing that we are the mouthpiece of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We say it, it happens. Why? Because the spirit has been, been put upon the men that the Lord chose to speak his word in truth and in sincerity. They'll catch on. Some before it's too late and other and most when it's too late. You know? And so when shit start popping off, a lot of people are going to seek Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai early. And they're not going to find him. And we're not going to come looking for him either. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It's all about that fear, man. If you don't fear the Lord, hey, hey, 
you're fucked. You're fucked. You know what I'm saying? It's like that woman that don't fear her husband. That woman that don't fear her husband would do all types of abominable, abominable things towards her husband. Like, her, you know, like commit adultery and do all types of fornications with other men. But if that woman has that natural fear towards her husband, she ain't going to do that. She's going to consider her ways before she disrespects her husband. Because the last thing that that woman wants to do is deal with the anger of her husband. Well, Israel's the same way. Two thirds of you Jakes don't fear the Lord. Why? Because you haven't, you don't understand that the ass whooping that you're getting or, or have been getting throughout your incarnations has been strictly to straighten you out. But the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is at the point of like, you know what? <laughs> Why should you be stricken anymore? You, you will only revolt more and more. Fuck it. Put him to death. You know? I'm going to go down to verse 30 and I'm going to end off on that. That they were none of my counsel. You didn't listen to the counsel of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Again, his hand is stretched out still. Turn unto the Lord before the evil days draw nigh, and those evil days are here. Get this while you can. Repent while you can. But the only people that's going to repent, the only people that's going to get this is the elect, which is who this lesson is derived from. Don't fall out of this faith. Don't fall out of the truth. Keep fast what thou hast learned. Don't change the doctrine. Stick to it. Don't waver to the left or to the right. Don't be faint in a time of trouble. Be strong. Because the time of trouble is here. It's upon us. As a dark cloud, you can actually see the sun being blocked. And the heavy cloud cover just starting to cover the people. And yet no one's looking up at this dark cloud that's covering them and, and asking the question, what is this and what is going on? They were none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. You're not two thirds ain't listening to the prophets of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. They're not listening to the epistles nor the teachings. So with that, it's going to come a great death because these people chose not to fear the Lord. They chose not to fear the information that was given to them. They had not piped unto the songs that 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 that, um, you know, the prophets have been out there singing. And so with that, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakwadash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Ayash Kabar from the GMS Virginia camp. Signing out until the next lesson. Adawan Ratazah, Wa Shalawan.